Scarface was in part two. Everybody was in these movies. So this is a, this is a series of that we was always fans of. If you was from this Houston culture, DJ School was in it. You know what I'm saying? So we always loved it as a kid. Growing up, that's something I never in a million years thought I would have been doing a dirty third. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Dirty, dirty Third? What, what's mm-hmm. the name of yeah, it? Something dirty else. Third, next Generation. The Next, next generation. generation. This movie is one that's been consecutively coming out. The nigga named Bobo? No, Sonny Bobo. Yeah, so, well, actually, the last one came out 20 years ago. This was a movie ago. when I was young. This was like a classic Houston movie. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is them that, like, I'm about it. To Louisiana, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like this yeah. shit was huge. All the rappers was in it. Slim Thug was in it. I think he was like 19, 20 years old. You know, what wow. I'm saying? ESG, all the rappers. Scarface was in part two. Everybody was in these movies. So this is a, this is a series of that we was always fans of. If you was from this Houston culture, DJ Screw was in it. You know what I'm saying? So we always loved it as a kid. Growing up, that's something I never in a million years thought I would have been doing a dirty third. But as a kid, wanting to be a rapper and you want to be like these people. That was something I always wanted to do, and I always tell people that, like, I ain't, my plans wasn't to do the Dirty Third, but my plans was to do some movies, so it just so happens it come full circle. It just, that was just dope. That's live, bro. Yeah. That's live. I like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to realize, man, you know, when you get to do something that you, you you never thought it could have happened, but then right. it happens, and you've been happened, knowing man. that it was big. Yeah. That's hard, man. And so, it's for the culture. Come on. Oh, man, that's our people, man. We we need to show that this is the history. Yeah. That's why I do this, because mm-hmm. we want to leave a legacy. We want to leave something our people can look at and say, you know what? 20 years later, like you right. just said, you remember when Boss Talk such and such? Yeah, Propane was on Boss Talk. I remember that Thanks. episode. Yeah. That's what this is for, man. No, That's for what sure. it's about. For sure. So, man, thank you for giving us the opportunity even to come down here and even witness what we just saw the other right. night. Right. And I just want to say, man, I'm you did a hell of a job in there, man. Thanks. And Hey man, that's 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 what it's all about. And Appreciate then it, man. Noah been here today. We got all we got a lot of the cast members right. right here, baby. Uh, yeah. GSO Fab was on here today. Yeah. Say yeah. man, it's going down, man. I'm loving yeah. it. What's but the next? way, but the way how you the way how you talk about this acting, mm-hmm. it almost sounds like you have. Are you gaining more of a passion for acting than maybe even 100%. for the music? No, nah, I don't well, say. I that. ain't gonna say. Hold on, that's why I'm that. getting that. I ain't gonna yeah. say more than the music, but I I tell you this. So. The whole last year was a process. So I was working on my album. I was shooting this movie and I was executive producing the soundtrack for the, uh, for the movie. Mm-hmm. And I was 100% full-time dad. So mm. by myself. So it was by like- By yourself? By myself. All How old years. is your child? She eight. Eight? Yeah. So you're a single dad? Yeah. Wow. So that was a- Man, it was like a whirlwind all last year. So now mm-hmm. we at a point now where everything is like coming out, everything happening. So, you know, everything kind of paying off. But to answer your question with the movies, I'm always love the music because the music is what got me there. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for me being a rapper, I probably wouldn't be right there. So that's always going to be my love and that's fun. But right, right now, if somebody was to tell me you could do this movie right now with Denzel Washington or you could do this album with let's say Nas that's one of my favorite albums of all time I might want to go do that movie with Denzel just because like that just was a, a an experience that, and now to see how everybody reacted to it at that mm-hmm. premiere that's like damn like damn you can really move people off mm-hmm. this you know what I'm saying like so and I'm still gonna love music I want to do both but I'm just saying right now at this moment cause I'm still riding on that high from that premiere I would probably go do a, a big movie more than doing a big album right now. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.